Hey YouTube, how the heck you doing? I am doing great. Today is uh, Friday the 24th and that makes it NaNoWriMo Day 24. Uh, like I said uh, the other day on my last vlog, I wasn't going to do anything for uh, Thanksgiving except eat and enjoy uh, time with the family and that's exactly what I did. Uh, I did all that cooking, also did all the cleanup, but uh, that's how it goes sometimes. But Today is another day of NaNoWriMo and I'm going to be hitting that pretty soon in the laptop there. So hopefully I can uh, catch up with all that uh, turkey and dressing and all those potatoes still going around inside me. Hopefully that will help spur some uh, thoughts on my storytelling and get me going on that. But uh, that's something I'll have to see too. But, but hang around for Scribner. I'm going to show you uh, one or two things in there hopefully. So I won't be showing you my targets today, but I will tomorrow after I do my writing. So hopefully uh, I can hit them and we'll go from there. Hang on, guys. So guys, here we are once again inside Scrivener. It's the day after Thanksgiving, and like I was telling you earlier, I didn't do much writing yesterday and pretty much the day before because I was setting up for uh, Thanksgiving, doing cooking and all that good stuff. And then uh, Thanksgiving Day itself, I was... Just enjoying the time with the family and eating lots of good food and eating way too much food. So if I click on my target, you'll still see I'm at uh, 42,729. But as you can see, it being November 24th, I got a little ways to go to reach my uh, 48,000, which I uh, didn't project I would hit anyway because of the holidays and everything. But that's okay. We will see how far we go. As you can see it's slightly turning green now as I'm reaching my 60,000 word goal. It seems kind of daunting that I'm only 18,000 words away from finishing my target goal and I think I'm gonna do it. it it's, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to hit it uh, without a problem but there's still about what six days left. We'll see how that goes but uh, let me go ahead and close this and uh, I was just going to go over one of the other things uh, that are with inside your binder today with you guys. And that's a little guy way down here. It's called your template sheets. And if you click on them, you have uh, the templates that you've been using when you create your characters up above. Say like Nicole Coates. They have all of that uh, characteristics and everything displayed on the side left as well as on the template. And that's just something that you can change up or remove. Say you don't want to really talk about the background for her or one of your characters. And then anytime you're in character and you hit the plus sign up here, that little thing is going to go away. And the same as applies if you want to add something to it. Say they have a, a handicap if it's something you're working with that uh, your characters have handicaps or anything that would uh, apply to there that would probably fall in physical description but say you had that but it's not part of the template if you were to go down here it would not be in the template so if you had the new character right here with handicap and you went up to character to add that you would not have that one in there although the template itself lost still does not show the previous one that you deleted so and that applies to the setting also that is your template for your settings your characteristics in the setting of your story the role in the story related to characters you can delete or change whatever you want in there and add to it so you wanted to add longitude because it's something you're looking for it's something you're working for for a research paper you need the longitude and latitude of that setting you can add that into the characteristic of a template and then once you go ahead and add a new setting you have your latitude and longitude right there so those are just quick little guys you can uh, change up in your stories your projects doesn't have to be necessarily everything doesn't necessarily have to be involved in all the places that you put in there or all the characters like I showed you on the previous one you could add something right there at that point or you can 
delete something at that point and it won't and it won't be seen in other new characters that you create so let me go ahead and just delete out these guys in the trash get rid of him in the trash as you can see they're down there now so I have my allergen I have my two characters that I've been showing with you guys so that is what you do for the templates so that was just a quick little thing I wanted to show you on the side there we've covered pretty much everything else along in the binder there and that is all the characteristics that you'll find when you do the novel template for the Scrivener so I hope you enjoyed that little tidbit and I will see you next time most likely closer to my goal or hopefully passing my goal but until then have a good day guys and happy writing.